fought them to a draw in the first half and then combined the good defense with a barrage of threes, and that, that knocked them out. Yeah, from uh, no question, and 13 made three certainly helps. Uh, but 17 <laughs> assists on the 25 yeah. field goals and all those things. But at the end of the day, it was another uh, uh, where our guys were tough. I mean, they just were really tough. Diving for loose balls, blockouts, the physicality with which we are playing with right now. We've got to continue to do that every day. The mental toughness, the poise, you know, those those things are more important than what play we run or – you know, so I, I thought we were really good in those really important and tangible areas. Our team was very connected, and you know, I told them to enjoy it tonight. And then when we get up tomorrow, we've got to work uh, for two days uh, to to prepare, uh, obviously, for Michigan State in uh, what we anticipate to be a very very physical game. Yeah, defensively, again, you guys uh, held the uh, team below 40%. The only time they only really got a little run, you went to a 2-3 zone in the first half. Webster was starting to go up that screen, uh, high screen roll right there. You made a little adjustment. That seemed to slow them down a little bit. It did. We, we played the zone was good for us at the end of the half. I thought we were in some foul trouble there the last five minutes. We played eight possessions. They scored two points. Started out in, again, the second half, Doug, and then they scored two of the three times we played it. We got back out of it brought it back again late in the game when we were ahead just to try to make them make passes and eat clock a few possessions. So we used it effectively here and there, but at the end of the day, you know, our man-to-man -man defense was what got it done. When you do all those, and I think the steals number wound up being 12. Yeah, that's we a active. lot. That's a lot of steals. We were active, got our hands on a lot of balls. Guys are sticking their nose in there a lot right now and giving up their bodies and, and uh, just really, you know, playing really hard and, and playing for each other. Yeah, I thought uh, again uh, the, the the rebounding. Even though you know, we got beat on the boards, but we're, we we're every loose ball in the second half. Again, you you, you sort of did this uh, at Northwestern. You did it at Iowa. Uh, you did it tonight. It, it seems like the second half uh, when you guys come out, you you just played lights out in both those three of those road games. And I don't know if you made any what you told those guys at halftime or, or, or yeah, what we, adjustments? Yeah, we make a few adjustments, right. you know, a couple things here and there. Tonight we changed pick and roll coverage a little bit on Webster throughout the game and Watson. I thought that was effective. We knew we were going to try to do that coming into the game because those two guards are so good at getting downhill and in the paint. And even then they still got downhill and in the paint some. You know, you could see how effective Webster and Watson are with the ball. But, um, you know, we made a few adjustments, sprinkled in the zone. But the biggest thing, again, we just, we knew we had to be tough, uh, especially on the glass. And you're right, Doug. We got out rebounded by three. But, you know, at the end of the day, we competed there. We were better uh, than certainly the last time we played them in Champaign. That was a point of emphasis. They saw several clips uh, from the game in Champaign where we felt like we had just not, didn't have it uh, to, the, to the level that they had it physically. And the guys probably got a little tired of that over the last couple of days. So... You know, they came out and they uh, they answered the challenge in that area. Well, I know everybody is just thrilled with uh, the win and all the effort from all the guys, but especially for the love that people have for Tracy, how hard he works. He grinded through all of January and most of February, and then you could just, as he kept working, it's paid off. He's it's grinded work. through it. I'm, I'm proud of him um, for a lot of reasons, a lot of them more than just ball, obviously. I mean, just what he's been through physically, the six years he and I have been together, you know, for five of those six years, we've kind of seen a lot together. Uh, his mental toughness, his willingness to continue to lead and be a very positive voice in our huddles and in our locker room and his belief, you know, the guys really uh, really root for him. You could tell they, they, they want him to do well, really appreciate him, and he also appreciates Illinois and appreciates his teammates. Well, you talk about uh, the seniors, senior leadership. That's such a critical part when you're coaching a team. And it seems like those guys now are, you know, I mean, not that they haven't been, but, uh, you know, when you go through a rough stage, and, and it's not sometimes how you start the fight, it's how you finish the fight. And right now, uh, we've got a lot of momentum. No question. we got to keep playing the way that uh, we'll control what we can control and to be tough, be together, execute the game plan, play for each other. And then the score takes care of itself. At that point, you can live with that. And we've done that now for a couple of weeks here where we've really locked in on getting back to our roots of being tough and together. And uh, we were again tonight. Yep. And uh, as you said, a physical team in Michigan State. We, we know what to expect when they yeah, come. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming yeah, in. But uh, we'll, we'll be, I uh, know they'll be prepared. We'll be prepared. Uh, should be a great um, game on Tuesday night or Wednesday night. And senior and, night. Uh, senior night. And uh, fans have been great. Uh, we love our fans. But uh, 
we're going to challenge them. We need we need them on Wednesday night. They need to come out Wednesday night and uh, be a great night to uh, honor the seniors. But uh, you know we uh, we need that home court advantage on Wednesday yeah, night. We're looking we forward to yeah, the crowd. And, you know, and, and as a senior, when you're playing that game, you know you can get a little emotional. What are you going to tell those guys to try to keep? We know we we still got a lot of work to do. Uh, yeah, I've just told them to on, keep honoring the process in the locker room. We just now talked about it, and you could hear the seniors echoing it. And I said, that, hey, look, you can. A lot of people say that's cliche, you know, but at the end of the day, we believe in it. It's what we're doing. It's a big reason why we've continued to improve and get better. And uh, we'll get back to Champaign tonight late, work tomorrow very smartly, and um, and then work again on Tuesday and uh, continue to try to grow and improve our team heading into Wednesday night's game. All right. I